Hey guys, it's Kristen. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests to make a how-to video of how to make a uh, fisheye. So um, today I decided to um, <laughs> gulp it. <laughs> and I'm gonna teach you guys how to make a fisheye out of a door viewer. A 100. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Leave. <laughs> door viewer, which is 180 degrees, is the kind that I bought right here so the um different um things you're gonna need are artistic foam which all i have are these little things for um a door handle uh scissors and elmer's glue i guess you could use hot glue if you want to but um viewer. Now this part right here is going to screw off. Um, you are not going to need this part, I'm pretty sure. And there you go, you've got your shot. But, um, um, how are you going to attach this to a actually digital camera is what I use. So I guess to put it on the lens that comes out, um, then I'll have a fancy camcorder or anything I just use to digital right now. But, um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this artistic foam. You can get it in tons of different, like, uh, widths, but I just have this one for right now. Um, just get a... As you can see, I'm just cutting it. And I'm gonna do little strips right now that equal up to the same length as it is from this outside part, the end. We're going to make all this same width from here to there. It's going to come out with artistic foam is what that's what it's set for. So. And measure it. You might need different lengths for um, the size peephole you got. Um, this is actually a $10 brass one that I bought, 180 degrees. There's, you could buy 120, I think one, 120, 160, 180, and 200. I thought the 200 was a little bit too big, but um, so I decided to go with the uh, 180 with it. And you could buy all different sizes. There's a smaller one that's like five dollars. There's also you could buy nickel ones made out of nickel. You could buy ones made out of cr uh, chrome, I think, and uh, brass, which is what this one is. Brass is really interesting. So that's why I bought this one. If you want to, you could paint this to make it look nicer. I'll probably paint this either white, black, or maybe silver. As you can see, I'm just gonna wrap it around. And you can either tape it or glue it. So the Elmer's glue is not working, so I decided to just get some scotch tape. I know this will work. Make this cut evenly. And just tape it around. And it's going to stay. So you've got the same width from the metal to the end right out here. Basically, I mean, within very close. We're going to make another one of these. We're going to put another layer around it so we can put the, um, so it'll slide right onto the lens. Okay, I've now put another layer of artistic foam around it, so now I have two layers around the fisheye, or the door viewer peephole. And now the next layer is going to have to fit around the lens and this at the same time. And again, I am going to probably paint this so it's not all colorful and it looks more professional, but um, you're just going to keep layering it, and I found that um, tape is definitely the best thing to secure it with. It's not, now as you can see, there's a little pocket in here, and that should fit perfectly for the lens, and now 
this gap will go into the lens. It slides snugly in, so you don't need rubber bands, glue, tack, whatever you... A lot of people tell me all different types of things, how do you do it? I mean, really, this foam, it just slides right on, just make it where it fits alright. It just slides right on, just slide this. And I'm not holding it, but I've still got to zoom in, but I mean, I'm not holding it at all, so...